thanks for tuning in. This is Optibotomist coming at you with another video review. This time I'm bringing you Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Dune Runner. Now, Dune Runner is currently available at most United States retail slash toy stores such as Walmart, Target, Kmart, Toys R Us, things of that nature. It's running about $7.99, $8 or so for the figure itself. Very nice figure. The only thing I can really say, he's kind of sort of modeled after... What I could only assume is to be a modified military dune buggy. That's that's about all I can really kind of decipher from it. It is kind of like a dune buggy. Now, the one thing that is really nice about this is he is a gorgeous looking figure that can be repainted in some... And he's already kind of a good hound color. Remove... I got a little fuzzy in there. Uh, but Beachcomber, seeing how a Beachcomber and a dune runner are kind of like the same thing, I suppose... A nice blue repaint of this would put this guy in the shelf and I would have the Beachcomber version standing out and being displayed for all times. It's, it's absolutely a gorgeous figure. I really like it. Now he says, back on Cybertron, most rolling services are flat, lightly textured roads. Perfect for speed and traction. It wasn't until he got to Earth that Dune Runner experienced anything like sand or shale. He can't say he enjoys his new vehicle mode, but he appreciates that it lets him patrol the deserts and mountains where many Decepticons have taken to hiding. And uh, there you can see his, his tech stuff. Very strong, very strong little guy. Has a high amount of endurance as well. Not too rank, but not too skilled, so he's kind of like ding ding. But really nice, very nice looking. I love the way this guy looks. As you can see, there's a nice, and I'm going to try and zoom in, nice Autobot symbol right inside the center of that. It looks like a Sector 7 logo. 0318, which I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I didn't research, so I do apologize. But you can kind of see inside there, nice detail, nice red lights here. Very nice detail on this figure. I really love the way he looks and then robot junk on the bottom. So to go ahead and transform him, he's actually fairly simple. I just kind of just will usually lift these up, get these out of the way. And they're also posable, so you can move them any which way you want. And it's a nice metallic-y blue paint. I don't know if you're able to get that very well. Just kind of take the arms out here on the sides. Rotate those out. You can fold these back at that point in time. You're just rotating. A lot of rotation. Fold that back. Lift this up, and you're going to rotate right up here. You're going to rotate this around. Separate the legs. Flip these bits out. Fold that out, like so. I know, I said like so. i got to come up with a different word. Fold that out thusly. <laughs> thusly. So you have his arms. Position like so. Oh, there it went again. Fold this kind of down, fold this little bit back, and that will fold all this back, and then you can lift up his head, and this kind of will peg into place. And here you have Dune Runner, and you can kind of rotate these out. They swivel like so, so I'll usually swivel them to the top portion, so you can kind of position them downward a little bit better. And lo and behold, here you have the master of nothing and... All that stuff, <laughs> that's not nice. Here's Dune Runner. Now, Dune Runner, he's kind of got a goofy little face, and I'm going to show that off here. Uh, but it's very reminiscent to what the uh, the good old Beachcomber face kind of looked like. So that's what I'm saying. If you repaint him, he's going to look nice. Nice Autobot symbol on the top there. He's got hands inside here. And, I mean, overall, this is a really nice figure. I really love the way that this figure actually moves there's no light piping or anything that moves i like the way he moves all right whatever his head is kind of on a ball joint so you can get some rotation there his arms will rotate all that fantastic stuff doesn't really move in and out all that much i mean unless you because it kind of gets hindered in there but you can kind of get it moving he bends at the elbows doesn't rotate at the elbows but that kind of sucks rotates at the waist though as part of the transformation upper thigh knee and a little bit of pivot in the foot, as this little bit thing down here is part of his foot. Overall, though, this is a gorgeous figure. I really think it's well done. Uh, and as I said, if they repainted this guy... Oh, there's actually too many parts at the elbows. I'm sorry. If they repainted him into a beachcomber figure, I would absolutely pick this thing up in a heartbeat. Now, some people will take this off. Well, I'll do this one. 
take this off and they use that as now they have kind of a movie hound figure. Sure, I guess. <laughs> it's it's It can be done because it's kind of the same color scheme and everything, but uh, overall, though, I just think this is a gorgeous figure. I highly recommend this thing. It's only a Scout class figure, so it's not too expensive, but he just looks so cool. I, I really, oh, well, when he stands up. I just think, stand, you sucker. Oh, his foot's bent, I'm sorry. There, take the legs, fold these little bits in on his feet, and fold this bit inside. Again, fold that nice and in, and rotate that down. Then you can bring them together. And this is a very strong peg. There's a, a slot right here and a peg hole right there. And this pegs together so hard it snaps. Well, that, it snaps when you take it apart, but really nice. Kind of lift up his chest piece, rotate his legs. Just kind of fold this down to get this out of the way. Come around to his head, straighten out his head. Fold that down. This, this little piece here will fold forward as well as the back bumper. Position the arms where they're down like so. Slide the elbows down like so. Kind of lift those up again just to get them out of the way. Rotate. You see his wheels back here, so you got to rotate these outward and then at the same time rotate the side panels. So that's a little tricky. Actually, I'm having problems with it. Ha! Okay, you're just going to fold this down. Okay, now you have that on the side. So again, you're going to rotate the wheel out. And as you do that, you're going to rotate this arm. So hopefully you can see that. Just going to slide that in. That lines up nicely. Just kind of fold those down, fold those down. And here you have Dune Runner back in his vehicle mode. And like I said, this is a gorgeous figure that if you guys don't have him, you really probably should pick him up. Even if you don't like Scout Class figures. He, he's a small figure, but he is a lot of, has a lot of character. Very nice looking robot mode. Very nice looking vehicle mode. Highly recommend this guy. Pick him up. That's all I can really say. So until next time, guys, this is Optobotomist. Thank you for tuning in. I'll talk to you later.